sometimes there are games that just utterly disappoint you. You get excited for them. You think this game looks really cool. I'm looking forward to playing this game. And then you play the game and you're like, what, what, what happened with this? And that is definitely what Remothered Broken Porcelain is to me. A game that you should avoid at all costs from what I hear on all systems, but especially on the Nintendo Switch. Now you might remember in my October Nintendo Switch games video, we talked about Remothered Broken Porcelain because I was really interested in this game. The trailer for the game looked really cool. Ooh, I got these clock tower vibes to it. The game itself looked very impressive. Not a triple A title or anything like that, but I definitely thought from a graphical standpoint, it looked good. The combat in the game looked fun. You can't really sort of go out of your way to kill enemies or anything like that, but there was a way to defend yourself, which is something that you don't really see in a lot of survival horror games right now, as they are sort of shifting away to a more just walking simulator style thing. So I thought this game had a lot of potential and I, I was completely wrong. I was utterly completely wrong about this game and i haven't raged about a game in quite a while so you know what we're gonna bring it back and if this video does well we'll complain about other games as well but i decided to pick this game up it retails for 29.99 and one of the things i want to point out before we even get into the game itself is look at the eShop listing for this game i want you guys to take a look at the eShop listing for this game and look at the screenshots that are on display for the nintendo switch version of remothered broken porcelain so get this sort of image in your mind get this visual fidelity in your mind for what to expect from this game because as you can probably tell and maybe even take a wild guess the game isn't really indicative of this at all and here is the game in action now, does this look like those screenshots that we saw? Does this look like indicative of what we saw with those screenshots? I think not, good sir or madam. I think not. This is a, a blurry mess of a game with no color and textures are just muddy and disgusting. Like, what happened? What happened with this version of the game? Like, I get it. Nintendo Switch games aren't as strong as PlayStation 4. And maybe you can't do some of the fancy graphical effects that you can do on the PlayStation 4. But still, like, this is very very different than what we saw in those screenshots. The screenshots look like, well, really a completely different game, almost from a completely different generation of video game consoles. But you know what? Graphics don't make the game or anything like that. I'm able to look past the graphics of a game if the gameplay itself is fun, if it has an interesting story, if it's good enough to want to plow through the game in order to see what ends up happening. But I, I can't really get anywhere with this game because not only are the graphics a huge mess, but the gameplay itself is a huge mess. So as you can see here, I'm playing as this girl. There's weird stuff going on in this home that I'm living in that's like a hotel or something. They do a very poor job of like giving you sort of an explanation of the first game with some very little text. Like you have to literally like break out your eyeglasses, your spectacles in order to see. Look at this picture. Who painted this? Van Gogh? Like, good, like this is ridiculous. Look at how crappy this picture looks. And it's just like, is the texture trying to load? Is there is there something I'm missing here? But, you know. You know, like I said, game gameplay is king, and we're, we're going to see some of the gameplay and just how glitchy it is. And when I die, because I will die, you're going to experience the loading times with me because, wow, that's a whole nother story. So around this corner, and like I said, I haven't played this game much at all because it, it's almost unplayable. I'm going to show you what the uh, main point of this game is. You're basically, like I said, it's sort of a walking simulator style game where you're trying to avoid people. Oh, here comes the crazy lady. Oh, no, the crazy crap ugly lady so let's run away from her come on you got to follow me because you'll just see some absolutely ridiculous stuff so we're gonna run you can run like i said you can also craft items in order to somewhat defend yourself oh crap did i go the wrong way no, I didn't. Okay, we're good. Um, you could sort of craft items in order to defend yourself as well, which I think is is pretty nice. Um, like it sort of adds another layer to the gameplay. Where did she go? Did she not follow me? Oh, there's a cool there's a cool effect. Look at the light. The light is gone. The light is on. The light is gone. The light is on. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Like what is that? How do you? How do you release a game like that? Oh crap, I missed the room I'm supposed to go into. That's fine, we can we could try to avoid her and hopefully we will avoid her or else, oh God. Just, just move, just go, just go, please, please go. So there's these little action sequences where you can use, if you have an item in hand, you could sort of defend yourself a little bit, but it really doesn't do a whole hell of a lot as you can see, because now we're just pretty much back at square one with this. Where's that? door I'm, that's not the right door the door's locked there's a door you're supposed to go into and then you trigger some stuff uh, don't worry you'll see it 
All right, cool. Here it is. So remember, that lady is currently chasing me, right? All right, so we're going to go to this corner of the room. It'll trigger a cutscene. Now she's in the room with me, right? Oh, where did she go? Where did she go? Oh, now she's back on the other side of the door, and now she's doing laundry. Like, how do you not notice that when you're programming this game? Do you not think that the crazy lady who's trying to kill you will follow you into different areas, and then she'll just magically vanish from the room and then come back into the room? And it's just like... Oh my god, how did you release this game? Like, I get it, it's not a big triple A game. I'm able to give it some slack in that regard. But the fact that there's just basic glitches like this within the first, you know, little bit of the game, it's just like, did, did you test this or were you just trying to get this game out before the spooky Halloween season? So there's lots of cool graphical glitches in here that it, they'll just really confuse you. Um, I really like this washer machine here. So it kind of gets like, oh, whoa, what was that? What was that? Uh, uh, like, what, <laughs> what is this? What is this nonsense? Nonsense is what it is. So this is where I always die because I can't really figure out how to get out of this room. So um, you have to basically trigger something. You go to the washer machine and you stop the washer machine. This door is locked, as you could tell. And so I'm going to trigger the washer machine thing. She's going to come back in and then we're just going to kind of have like a little duel and she'll stab me to death. And then we'll get to see the awesome loading screen. And then I could do sort of my ending monologue with this game. But what what happened here? What And the thing of it is, like I said, I have heard that there's problems with all versions of the game i've heard the playstation 4 game is just as buggy as well the playstation 4 version of the game but at least the playstation 4 version of the game actually kind of looks like oh, that was that was cool that was really scary scary oh whoa that was a, that was a nice <laughs> what oh my god um at least it looks better like so i i really don't know what to do here she has the key to get out of the room because she locked it in that beautiful locking animation i have a phone key which i know where to do that um the phone is by her office and now we're going to die anyway so it, it really doesn't matter but i want you guys and that's a pretty cool that's pretty cool right there here we go loading times i am not doing anything my hands are up so i don't want you to think i'm impacting this in any way shape or form this is the loading time every time you die or decide to start up the game and that's a big thing that we're talking about with next generation consoles is how awesome these loading times are this is all actual loading time we haven't even started loading it by the way now we are loading it zero percent so remothered broken porcelain I, this game was obviously rushed out to the market in order to capitalize on Halloween spooks and scares. I'm like, I get it. But at some point in time, you have to realize the game itself isn't ready. You have to have some sort of sense of pride with the games you're releasing. And at a $30 game, like, yes, it's not a $60 game or anything like that. But it's also not a $10 game either. I have played so many awesome horror games on the Nintendo Switch. And there's such a good variety of them. Yet we're stuck with games like this that come out at a higher price tag than a lot of those other horror games that are just absolutely ridiculous buggy glitch filled messes that just are just thrown onto the nintendo switch and hopefully the game will get a patch or something like that but i don't want to wait around for a patch if the game comes out on day one and it's unplayable like this and just absolutely ridiculous in terms of glitches why should i give the game a second chance and like i said i've actually given the game a second chance there we go about a minute long plus in order to just load the game in order to just load the game itself and i mean it's 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 ridiculous i just i don't understand it i don't understand why companies do this look at this look at this this is indicative of the game this right here absolutely fantastic work with the nintendo switch version of the game the doilies underneath the plant are disappearing grandma's going to be mad because that plant is going to be leaking all over the place we're going to have water all over this chestnut you know <laughs> desk and the desk is going to be warped and ruined and just absolutely disgusting and you know what i don't really care i just wanted to show you guys this game and show you guys why you shouldn't buy remothered broken porcelain maybe it'll get some patches and then it'll go on sale for like 10 bucks and then maybe it'll be better but i don't have time for that you know video games there's so many video games coming out there's so many awesome games to play already that why would you want to waste your time with the game that obviously the developer did not care about about because if they release it in this state you don't care about the game and once again we're gonna we're gonna end this with a little bit of singing 
come on. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, let's run away. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some laughs out of it. Don't buy this game. Stay far, far away from Remothered Broken Porcelain. And as always, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.